Welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie. Hope you're all well. The purchases I'm going to mention in this video are mainly for men. Uh, some of them are unisex. The brand is unisex, but they lean more masculine. So I'm going to give you my recommendations for fall or autumn. I even made a little extra effort because we have 26 degrees here in Spain, so still summer. But I put my jumper on, a little candle to get in this autumn vibe. I really think it's important to invest in a good perfume. It doesn't need to be super expensive, but the quality is really important, I find, that it lasts long and that it smells unique and not too mainstream. I purposely use the word investment because, yeah, sometimes you really need to put a little extra amount to just level up. The purchases I'm going to mention here are good quality and have good longevity, and they qualify in this category. First up, we have a very classic one. It's Armani because I found Armani makes really good perfumes for men. I think most of the perfumes are really delicious. Uh, but they are also very mainstream often. Um, one of my favorites here is Aqua di Gio Profumo. That's a classic, obviously, but it's a really nice perfume. They also have good lasting power. Another perfume that I really enjoy, especially in the cooler months, is Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord. It's a very warm, spicy gourmand perfume, which contains so many gourmand notes, which is very cozy and intoxicating. This is super nice, I love this perfume. I bought this for my boyfriend, I bought this for my father for his birthday now, and I really love that perfume because I think it's such a beautiful perfume, which is also quite safe if you want to gift it to someone. I have a couple of perfumes that I'm gonna mention from Tom Ford, and that's Black Orchid. Uh, the amount of notes in this perfume is just insane. It, it has a bit of everything, I'm not even gonna mention them, I'm gonna get put a picture here so you can have a look so you understand what I mean. So it's a cocktail of everything basically. It can be a little bit confusing, you can't really separate the notes, but yet it's so nice. I really love it. it makes this perfume a little bit different in that it contains truffle and incense and I think that makes it a little bit more mysterious in some ways. So this can be a love or hate. If you want to play it a little bit more safe I can recommend Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. This is more moderate and much safer option. So the tobacco, the vanilla here is very smooth and rounded, so it's very beautiful. Then I have another designer perfume and that's from Bulgari. This is for the alpha males out there because this is really powerful, smoky, very masculine. And that's, um, let's see, what's the name of that one? I just need to check the name of it. Yeah, that's uh, Bulgari's Man in Black, which is very masculine, powerful, smoky and warm. So probably more for nighttime and winter, but yes, it's a good transitional perfume. One perfume that I enjoyed since I was a teenage girl, and which was ages ago, and that's just such a beautiful perfume. I loved it ever since. It's so classic, so they continued it throughout the years. And that's uh, L'Homme or La Nuit de L'Homme. I like the whole range. One that I recommend in particular for this season, if you can get hold of it, it's the red bottle. It's La Nuit de L'Homme or the Parfum, I think it's called. The original has notes of grape, cardamom, lavender, wood, for instance. Uh, what this one has in contrary to that, or on top of that, is more spices, but also leather. So if you want a little extra, which we want here, that's why we do this video, yeah? Uh, I can recommend that perfume. We are almost at the niche perfumes, my absolute favorite here. Before we go into that, I have another more affordable perfume, another designer perfume that I have a secret crush on, and that's Burberry Touch. Yeah, so this you can get a 100 milliliter bottle for very good price, and I think it smells amazing. This has notes of violet, mandarin, lavender, wood. It's quite spicy, yet it has something that makes it very refreshing. And I get so happy when I smell this perfume. But as I also said, I have a secret crush on this perfume. And because my first date with, with my ex anyway, uh, he was wearing this perfume. And I just, God, that perfume smells so good and I didn't have a clue what he was wearing. It was so intoxicating I and mean, I had to have a sneak peek, you know, <laughs> so I saw it was Burberry Tuck. I think this can be a good signature perfume 
that you can wear all year round because it is so uplifting as well as it is just gorgeous. Next up we have Aqua di Parma and the Aqua di Parma has a wide range of perfumes for summer, for winter, I mean it's there's so many. I'm just gonna mention one from Aqua di Parma and that's Sandalo which is a woody yet refreshing perfume because it has a lot of citrus in the top notes but it also has a lot of wood. So it's really nice mixture this one and it has good lasting power and smells expensive also which I like. Then we have Killian. I love Killian. This is also one of my favorite brands. I have some Killian perfumes. They're often very gourmandish and sweet and oh, intoxicating basically. They are unisex. The one I'm gonna mention here leans more masculine, of course, so don't worry. And that's straight to heaven. This is warm, it has wood, it's very spicy and energetic, so I think this is very sexy. It also has sweetness, which Killian perfumes often do. Yeah, these are my favorite perfumes, basically. I think it's a little bit boring to have these only refreshing perfumes with citrus. I really love fall, not because I'm born in October, I really enjoy it. Paul is so cozy, you know, you can cuddle up in a blanket, some knit clothes, you know, lit some candles and take out your sweet perfumes. But sweet perfumes are my favorite perfumes. But they're not as practical here in southern Spain. Yeah, and as Kilian does more sweet perfumes, I can really enjoy straight to heaven, check it out. But definitely not the least because the struggle is between Kilian and Sergio. I think Sergio will win this by a little bit, yeah? I've been exploring this brand for such a long time. Luckily, I had a Corte Inglés nearby and also a niche perfume store. So I've been there like very frequently. I think they know me by now. So I've been trying out so many of the perfumes and I'm gonna mention a few of them here which are more suitable for this climate. I want to give you some options here because the three I'm gonna mention from Celia are totally different, but it's because you have different tastes. So let's start with this, uh, what's it called? It's Oudan Overdose and this is more fresh. This is a citrus amber perfume, so it's quite fresh, yet it has this warm amber with some spices. So when I say fresh, I mean it in a very luxurious way. Even if it's getting colder and darker outside, we're not gonna give up, right? It's still nice to come in with a perfume that has more energy and is more uplifting and fun. I'm just trying to figure out because there is the red bottle and the blue bottle. That's uh, Sergio Casamorati. Yeah, the red bottle is Italica. So let's start with Italica. What I get when I spray this perfume, immediately I get this sweet vanilla that's very warm and cozy. Yeah, my first um, impression is vanilla, but also rum. It doesn't contain rum, but I get that sweetness from the rum, you know in this vanilla so it's quite interesting and uh, this is a gourmand so it also has almonds and toffee so it's very sweet be aware then we have the blue one this is a uh, more floral perfume don't get it wrong now because i say florals i don't mean that it smells feminine in any ways it's really beautiful and what i get with these white florals in the opening is also popcorn so you, if you want something more candy like with the florals i think this perfume is very, 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 very sexy. This perfume is very charismatic, very different from many other perfumes. Just try it out, I think many of you will enjoy this perfume. We come to the end of this video, I'm not really sure, probably I forgot something, I always forget something. I'm planning to do a similar video for women, I just need a little bit more research before I do, so I plan to have it out in a couple of weeks, the latest, but I hope to see you in another one.